Hey everybody, David Chesworth here, fitness programmer and wellness coach at Hilton Pet Health, and I'm here with one of our rock star interns, Amber Maloney. Um, and today we're going to show you a little bit of PNF stretching. For those of you curious about what PNF stands for, it stands for proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Um, to keep it simple, it means an assisted stretch to help you get a deeper stretch. So I'm going to show you three stretches today. We're going to focus on the hamstrings, the quad and hip flexor region, as well as the chest. These are three areas that tend to be tight in many, many Americans and many people who tend to have sedentary jobs or who sit a lot um, and which can result in maybe lower back pain, knee pain, um, are the two most common things. So these three stretches can help with that. So I'm going to have Amber start by lying on her back, facing the ceiling. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take her, her right leg first and lift it up to a point where she feels tightness and a stretch. Um, a good word is discomfort, but not pain. So Amber, I want you to tell me when you feel tightness and discomfort, but not pain. Right there? Okay, very good. So while I'm here, I'm just going to hang out here for a few moments. I want her to focus on breathing um, and try to find herself as relaxed as she possibly can. Um, the breath is very important. It, it, it tells the body that it's a safe place to be. If she finds herself holding her breath, we've also gone too far. So what makes this different than regular stretching, what makes this PNF stretching, is I'm going to have her create tension by resisting the stretch. So Amber, I want you to go ahead and resist into my hand. Don't be afraid. Go ahead and press. And we'll do this for about 10 seconds total. So we'll keep this up, keep it up for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and relax. Keep breathing. And in just a moment, I'm gonna, it's going to allow me to go a little bit deeper. Amber, I want you to tell me when to stop. Right about there. So we got about one to two more inches deeper into the stretch. I want her to continue breathing. Very nice. Another thing that the breath does is it allows her to relax. And when, she, when she's relaxed, it tells the muscle to relax. So I'm going to do this one more time. So go ahead and resist. Press into my hand. Good for five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. And one more time, I'm going to try to take her a little bit deeper. Amber, I want you to tell me when to stop. All right there, very cool. Ooh. Amber, how does your right leg feel? Loose. Feels pretty loose. So we would then go ahead and do the same thing to the other leg. But Next, I'm going to show you what the quad and hip flexor stretch is going to look like. So, Amber, I'm going to go ahead and turn on your left side and face the camera. So, to stretch this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cradle her, her knee and hold on just beneath her hip. And what that's going to do is it's going to protect her lower back and protect her knee. She should only feel this in the front of her thigh. If she does feel it in her, in her knee or her back, she'll, she'll let me know and we're going to ease off. So, Amber, let me know when you start to feel a stretch. Right there? Okay. Should we go ahead and breathe? So again, the, the hamstrings, the quad and hip flexors are common culprits that can contribute to back pain and knee pain. Stretching these muscles can significantly reduce those feelings of pain in those areas. So Amber, go ahead and resist by trying to drive my hand into the camera. Go ahead and resist. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Here we go for five, four, three, Two, one, and relax. Amber, I'm going to take you a little bit deeper. Let me know when to stop. Right there, good. So notice we got a little bit deeper that time. The other thing that's happening when she resists, there's actually a nervous reflex, similar to the knee jerk reflex, that when she creates that tension, that muscle desires to relax more. It wants to give out. Um, it's the same reflex that happens when you pick up something too heavy and your muscles give out when you drop it. So Amber, go ahead and resist. Create that tension. There you go. For five, four, three, two, one. Relax. And again, I'm going to take this a little bit deeper. Amber, tell me when to stop. Right there. All right. Take a few deep breaths for me. And your right leg is going to feel a lot longer than your left leg when we're done with this. <laughs> All right. Nice. And again, we repeat that on the other side. So the last stretch I want to show you is a chest stretch. So Amber, I'm going to have you go ahead and sit at the edge of the table. 
All right, and all I want you to do is lift your arms up over your head. This stretch can also be done on a doorway, so if her hands were on either end, side of the doorway, she could step through. But since she has me here, I'm going to go ahead and help her get into that stretch. So Amber, tell me when you start to feel a stretch. There. Right there. Very nice. So it's important on this stretch that to get effectively get the chest, that her elbows are at about the same height as her shoulder, or a little bit higher. So they're not too low. They're right around that level, so that's where I'm keeping them. And Amber, go ahead and resist the stretch. Very good. For five, four, three, two, one, and relax. I'm going to go ahead and take her just a little bit deeper. Amber, let me know when to stop. Right there. So this contract and relax method really helps you to get a deeper stretch than just holding it in one static position. That, and when you get that deeper stretch, your body's more likely to adapt and lengthen. All right, Amber, how do you feel? Very loose. Very loose, very cool. So those are the three PNF stretches. Um, stretching is also most effective when your body's warm, so after a workout, or after a hot shower, or on a warm, hot day outside, um, that's when your body is most susceptible to adapting. So. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you learned something. And maybe next time you're at Health Net Health, you can sign up for PNF stretching. See you next time.